Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit six, lesson one, relationships between quantities. Problem number one from seventh grade, unit three, lesson seven. Lynn and Tyler are drawing circles. Tyler's circle has twice the diameter of Lynn's circle. Tyler thinks his circle will have twice the area of Lynn's circle as well. Do you agree with Tyler? I don't agree because the size of the radius is not proportional to the size of the area. Here's an example. These circles are not to scale, but let's use the larger circle on the left as Tyler's circle and Lynn's circle, the smaller circle, on the right. The diameter of Tyler's circle is two units. That's twice the diameter of Lynn's circle if the diameter of Lynn's circle is one unit. The formula for finding the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Since the radius is half the diameter, the radius of Tyler's circle would be one unit. So we can substitute the r with a one. Now it reads pi times one squared. One squared or one times one equals one. We can use 3.14 for pi. 3.14 times one equals 3.14. The area of Tyler's circle is approximately 3.14 units squared. Lynn's circle has a diameter of one unit, so the radius for Lynn's circle is going to be half of that, or 0.5 units. Pi times 0.5 squared. 0.5 squared, or 0.5 times 0.5 equals 0.25. So 3.14 times 0.25 equals approximately 0.785. The area of Lin's circle is approximately 0.785 units squared. 3.14 is four times larger than 0.785. This tells me that the area for Tyler's circle is four times larger than the area of Lin's circle. Not two times larger or twice the area of Lin's circle like Tyler thinks. Problem number two from seventh grade unit five lesson 15. Jada and Priya are trying to solve the equation two thirds plus x equals four. Jada says, I think we should multiply each side by three over two because that's the reciprocal of two over three. Priya says, I think we should add negative two thirds to each side because that is the opposite of two-thirds. A. Which person's strategy should they use? Why? I think they should use Priya's strategy. Adding the additive inverse of two-thirds, or adding a negative two-thirds to both sides, will get x by itself. Because two-thirds minus two-thirds cancels each other out, and you have the x by itself. Now you're left with x equals four plus negative two-thirds, or four minus two-thirds, which is equal to three and one third. So we know that X is equal to three and one third. Again, I think Pri is correct because adding the additive inverse of two thirds to both sides of the equation will help you solve for X. B, write an equation that can be solved using the other person's strategy. They want us to use Jada's strategy. I'm gonna leave the equation the way it is. Two thirds plus X equals four. Let's test it out by using Jada's strategy and see if it actually works. Jada wants us to multiply each side by three halves. That means she wants to multiply the left side by three halves and the right side by three halves. Three halves times two thirds plus three halves times x. That equals six sixth plus three halves times x. And six sixth or six divided by six equals one. So on the left side, we have one plus three halves times x. On the right side, we have four times three halves, or four over one times three over two, which equals 12 over two, and 12 over two is the same as 12 divided by two. 12 divided by two is six. So what we have now is one plus three over two times x equals six. We still haven't solved for x. We need to subtract one from both sides. That leaves us with three halves x equals five. Three halves x is the same as one and a half x. We want to know what the value for one x is. So we have to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of three halves, which is two thirds. Two thirds times three halves x equals one x or x. So now we have x equals five times two thirds. 
or 5 over 1 times 2 thirds. 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 3 is 3, so x equals 10 over 3. 10 over 3 is the same as 10 divided by 3. 3 goes into 10 3 times, with 1 third left over. So it just so happens that Jada was also correct, but it took much longer to find the value for x. Remember, the equation that I wrote to answer b was the original equation, 2 thirds plus x equals 4. Problem number 3 from 7th grade unit 5 lesson 13. What are the missing operations? A. What operation can we substitute with the question mark to make this true? A division sign because 48 divided by negative 8 equals negative 6. B. What operation can we substitute with this question mark to make this true? Another division sign because negative 40 divided by positive 8 equals negative 5. C. What operation can we substitute with this question mark to make this true? A subtraction sign because 12 minus a negative 2 is the same as 12 and the opposite of negative 2, which is 12 plus 2 or 14. D. What operation can you substitute with this question mark to make this equation true? An addition sign, because 18 plus a negative 12 equals 6. That's the same as 18 and take away 12 equals 6. E. What operation can we substitute with this question mark to make this equation true? An addition sign because 18 plus negative 20 equals negative 2. That's the same as 18 and take away 20 equals negative 2. F. What operation sign can we substitute with this question mark to make this equation true? A multiplication sign because 22 times a negative 0 0.5 equals negative 11. Another way to think of this is a positive times a negative equals a negative, and 0 0.5 is equal to half. This is like half of 22. Half of 22 is 11. And remember, the answer is a negative. Negative 11. Problem number 4 from 7th grade Unit 5 Lesson 14. In football, the team that has the ball has four chances to gain at least 10 yards. If they don't gain at least 10 yards, the other team gets the ball. Positive numbers represent a gain, and negative numbers represent a loss. Select all of the sequences of four plays that result in the team getting to keep the ball. A. They gained eight yards, they lost three yards, gained four more yards, and gained 21 yards. That's a total gain of 30 yards, so they get to keep the ball. B. They gained 30 yards, then they lost 7 yards, they lost another 8 yards, then they lost another 12 yards. That's a total gain of 3 yards. Since they didn't have a total gain of at least 10 yards, they will not get to keep the ball. C. They gained 2 yards, then they gained 16 yards, then they lost 5 yards, and then they lost 3 yards. That's a total gain of 10 yards. Since they gained at least 10 yards, they get to keep the ball. Problem number five. A sandwich store charges $20 to have three turkey subs delivered and $26 to have four delivered. A is the relationship between number of turkey subs delivered and amount charged proportional. Explain how you know. Since $20 divided by 3 subs equals $6.66 per sub, and $26 divided by 4 subs equals $6.50 per sub, I would say that this is not proportional. B. How much does the store charge for one additional turkey sub? 3 turkey subs for $20 and 4 turkey subs for $26. The difference between $26 and $20 is $6. So for one additional sub, they're charging six more dollars. 
C. Describe a rule for determining how much the store charges based on the number of turkey subs delivered. The rule can be $6 times the number of subs plus a $2 delivery fee. Let's test it out. Three subs times $6 equals $18 plus a $2 delivery fee. That equals $20 to have three turkey subs delivered. Four subs times $6 equals $24 plus a delivery fee of $2. That's a total of $26 to have four turkey subs delivered. Problem number six, which question cannot be answered by the solution to the equation 3x equals 27? 3x equals 27. 3x divided by 3 equals 1x and 27 divided by 3 equals 9. So we're looking for a situation when x does not equal 9. A. Elena read three times as many pages as Noah. She read 27 pages. How many pages did Noah read? The amount of pages that Elena read equals three times the number of pages that Noah read. And Elena read 27 pages, so we can rewrite this as 27 equals 3 times n. 3n divided by 3 equals 1n or n, and 27 divided by 3 equals 9. This means that Noah read 9 pages. Remember, we're looking for a variable that does not equal 9, so don't select a. B. Lynn has 27 stickers. She gives three stickers to each of her friends. With how many friends did Lynn share her stickers? 27 stickers divided by three stickers equals nine friends. This means that Lynn gave three stickers to nine different friends. Remember, we're looking for a variable that does not equal nine, so don't pick B. C. Diego paid $27 to have three pizzas delivered and $35 to have four pizzas delivered. What is the price of one pizza? 27 divided by three equals nine. Here, the average price of each pizza was $9, and 35 divided by four equals $8.75. For this delivery, the average price of each pizza was $8.75. This tells me that the price of the pizza, or the variable, cannot equal nine, since the price per pizza, or the variable price, varies with the number of pizzas ordered. So this is the answer that we've been looking for. Equation C cannot be answered by the solution to the equation 3x equals 27. Let's try the last situation. D. The coach splits a team of 27 students into three groups to practice skills. How many students are in each group? 27 students divided by three groups equals nine students in each group. This situation can be answered by the solution to the equation 3x equals 27, so we cannot select D. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.